Hi, I'm Alex, co-founder of Axiom. Let me take you through what is new in our first release of the year. First up, expanded parameters for our scraping tool. This is pretty exciting. I'm gonna take you through those in a moment and explain what's changed. Next up, we've revamped the payment system. Take a look at these slick pages. We're also going to be adding the feature at the same time of a, of a customer portal that will allow you to go in and download your invoices. So an upgrade around the payment system. Next up, we're going, we're going to add more templates. We're going to be releasing a lot of new templates to our, our template page on the Axiom website. They'll also be available within the extension. And these templates are essential design patterns for learning browser automation with Axiom. They'll teach you how to make the best web scrapers, how to input data into um, forms, etc. And that's not the only exciting thing about these templates because they are the first tiny step. We're evolving, and this is design work in progress. We're evolving our whole um, onboarding process and how we teach you how to make bots. Here you can see a working prototype of what's going to be these design pattern templates in the system. You'll be able to select what templates that you want, click on them, find those templates, and then select them or start from blank. Once you're in those templates, they're gonna show you how to build them. It's gonna be a fully guided experience that will teach you how to become pretty damn awesome at browser automation. Okay, what was next? New documentation on JavaScript snippets. So yes, some people like to use a bit of code in Axiom to extend its capabilities. So we're going to collect those snippets on a page so everyone can use them. You can literally cut and paste them in Things like if you want to get date and time, if you want to get the date X amount of days ago, for example, you can just use this tiny bit of JavaScript in seconds. What's next? We've also added a Zapier integration. Well, we've already got a Zapier integration, but they recommended adding embedding their, their tool into Axiom, so we've done that. We've also done lots of other minor fixes to the validation how improvements to the download error handling we've going to add we've added a net promoter score survey in there so we can get some more feedback from you how you think axiom's going and what we can improve we've also improved axiom's speed we noticed it was slowing down when it was saving the bots cool but let me take you through the, the important part of this release and that is the optimization of the, um, let me just get to the right page of the scraping tool. So now if you want to use the new scraper with the new parameters, you'll need to re-add the get data step to your, to your Axiom. And once you've done that, you'll see this new configure scraper toggle and you toggle that on and you'll get these new parameters. Now, let me explain to you what those parameters are. So first up, wait time between scrolls. So on listing pages, this is particularly important. Page like this sales navigator I've got in the background, Axiom scrolls down and the content loads in. On some pages, it unloads and loads content. It doesn't have it all on the page at once. So you may need to vary the speed of that scroll to improve the, the performance of the results being captured. So we've given you that option. It can also be used to to, so you can vary the speed of the scraper. So, you, so if you think you want to optimize the speed because speed, it's taking too long to scrape, you can try varying the scroll time. Next up, we've got number of retry attempts. That basically Axiom goes in, tries to get the data, and if it doesn't find it, it'll try again. Now, you may want to speed up the bot by just giving it one retry attempt. But of course, be wary that that could affect the accuracy because on many web pages, the data is still loading in dynamically, even though it appears to you the page has finished loading. So if you do change that and you see results aren't as accurate as you want, increase it back to two. We've also got the option of reducing the minimum wait time before the bot starts scraping. Again, use this one with caution reduce it down to an absolute minimum minimum to speed up a bot. But if, if you find that you're then missing results, incrementally increase it until you get to your, to your optimum level between speed and performance. Finally, you can also set the, the page number you want to, to start scraping on. That's when you're using a pager. And we've got this tick box. This is more of a, a, a Hail Mary, a final use. Basically, if you find that 
when you're scraping that you keep getting results from the, the, the same page rather than when you page through to another page, you haven't got those results, just tick on that box and it will force Axiom to rescrape. So just to recap, all these options will allow you to, to tweak the balance essentially between speed and performance. And what I mean by performance is the amount of results and accuracy of the results it captures. So just keep in mind that when you increase speed, you tend to decrease accuracy. So it's a careful balancing game. Different sites will have different requirements and we have got algorithms in there to work it out for you. But we, after many attempts of making the perfect algorithm, we kind of realize it's probably impossible and it's best to expose some of the parameters so you can optimize it yourself. We will also be upgrading this feature later in a further releases with probably with um, our own recommendations for different sites so you can just take those presets cool okay well that's about it for this release we've got lots more coming up in the next few releases so keep an eye out for those and um, a big thank you for our team who's worked incredibly hard to do all of this as ever and a thank you to all our users <laughs>